So the first thing you want to do is think about what the point is. What's the point of the character? What's the point of the drawing? Uh, and usually what that is, it's the end goal of your audience. What do you want them to feel or how you want them to react to that character. So thinking about what your point is is very important as I start to sketch out this guy. Um, draw soft and loose as you find your shapes and gesture. Uh, that's that's a big thing. If you start drawing too hard, then you start of have to already made the decisions for you. So I try to do very loose and gestural drawings to kind of find what I want to say. Work big to small. Find your big shapes, then find your smaller shapes, and kind of work within that. So that even big to small is also um, sort of light to dark as well. Uh, so it's the same concept of uh, going really fast and loose and then refine as you go. Uh, I also think that is as big to small as well. And then once you start doing that, then you start refining refining uh, as you find your answers, as you find your shapes and you find uh, what the the problem solving solutions are to your main point, to your main idea. You can start to solidify and start uh, refining those those ideas. Um, never be afraid to go back uh, and kind of r revisit especially when you work so loose and free uh, it's really easy to do um, if you put so much detail into the beginning stages uh, I, I find that a lot of artists are afraid to go back um, because they've they spend a lot of time and effort into this decision so I try to stay loose until I've really decided that the decisions I made are are done and that's it uh, so that's how I work. I always try to add extra shapes and other decisions as I go. This was not uh, something that I started to do um, in this original drawing, but I thought it added to his head and kind of helped balance out uh, the top to bottom ratio in the shapes. So I added this big feather and, and hair collection because um, I thought it helped the flow. And this is when I start to really um, solidify the shapes and add thick to thin decisions. Uh, so I will go between these two pencils, which is a th very thin uh, Prismacolor pencil and a thicker Prismacolor pencil that has a thicker line and I can push down on it harder and really get a nice um, solid color and mass to it and I'm just trying to make decisions for myself um, if I were to take this into uh, Photoshop or ink it um, and so I kind of do this in the pencil stage to make sure everything kind of works out in my mind uh, and I make these decisions here so I don't have to make them later on down the road as I go um, so I'm kind of refining and uh, I'm doing thick to thin lines around the character there's a lot of different ways you can do thick to thin lines you know, it could be top to bottom, it could be shade to, to light. Um, I kind of do it through flow. I use a lot of mine to help indicate flow of a drawing uh, for the overall composition of the character.
So now we're almost at the finish line. So I usually stop near the end of the drawing and I kind of just think to myself, how can I make this more mine? Like how can I put a stamp on it that feels more, it's a Brett drawing and a Brett idea than anybody else's, you know, trying to be, find that unique vision and that unique saying. So at the end, I always kind of stop for a minute and go, what do I do to kind of add it to make it more Brett? Um, and so that's usually my last stage before I'm done. So thanks for watching.